Hi guys. Hi. I'm just putting my alarm on to remind me of when I need to go at the end of this live because I've got two calls. Hi everyone. Sorry I'm a bit late. What's happening? Hi Joe. Hi Itby Karen. Hi Edwin. Edwin Flamenco, you had a booking with me and I had to cancel it. Why did you not have your booking? Did you get my cancellation email? I sent you a million emails saying pay for your booking, connect with me. Hi, Sarah. Hi, guys. Hi, Brienne. Hi, everyone. It's freezing in my house. I'm like wearing scarves and all sorts. It's not even winter here yet, probably, I don't think, is it? I don't know, but it's bloody freezing. And I just realised I can't find my heater. Where is my heater? My booking is today. Oh, yeah. Yay, darling. I booked today. Yay. Hi, Loz. I can't wait for a call on Tuesday. Yes, guys. Woo. Oh, my God, Loz. Was busy, but as soon as I started work, the guy wouldn't leave my side. Ha, 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 Sarah. <laughs> That's so cute. That's too cute. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Owen. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Who is this Mimi and Munchkin? You keep saying hello, and I've done a call with you, but who is it? <laughs> I never know who this is. Hi, guys. Hi, Christine. My call is less than an hour. Oh, yes, darling. Who's this? Jody. Who have I got in less than an hour? I've got two people in less than an hour. Love the pink scarf. Oh, thanks. I'm freezing. Oh, my dog wants to go outside. Too late. You're going to have to be in here. Hello. Hi, Ashley. Feeling so content with SP. Spent the whole day just not caring. Good, Owen. Good. You want to sit up here or what? Come on. Well, come, come sit up here if you want to. Come on. So I'm going to get my dog. She's... Yeah. Oh, there you go. Right. You want to sit here or you want to sit down? Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I sit here. Sit down here. Hi guys, he literally came with me on every screen check and said bye to me when he finished his shift. Oh, cute. Cute, darling. Love it. Jasmine shared this live video. Thanks, darling. I did it. You helped me. Oh, what happened? What happened, darling? You got your SP back? What happened? Do my negative thoughts impact my manifestations? I say my affirmations over them. Is that okay? Yes, guys. Just say it over them. Every negative thought you have is not going to fuck up your manifestation. You've got to have them prominently, like, all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time, like an obsessive weirdo for them to actually have an impact. So don't worry too much. Just affirm over the sh top of that shit. What's the weather like there? It's bloody freezing. There's, like, a cold snap, and it said it's going to snow or something in the... I don't read the news, but I saw something pop up on Facebook, and it's like, snow? It must have meant down south. Can't be here. I worked with you for two weeks. What? I worked with you for two weeks. Oh, so you just watched the videos for two weeks and then it worked. Oh, you look like you're freezing. I am freezing. This house is fucking freezing. I don't know. It's something wrong with it. It's the first winter I've had in this house and I, I'm freezing to death. My last house was even worse. The last house, there were like those louver windows at the back and it was an old like house from the 40s and it was freezing. And my SP and I, he's bald as a badger. He had to wear a beanie to bed. It was so cold. <laughs> Loz. I've been waiting all day to tell you. He reached out, responding to my text from two weeks ago. Oh, wonderful darling. Hooray. It's just I'm pregnant and hormonal as shit, so I get negative thoughts about my SP more. Don't worry, darling. Okay. Look, there's a couple of pregnant girls trying to get their SPs at the moment with me. You've got to understand that's just your hormones. Don't beat yourself up. Of course you're going to be hormonal. You're fucking pregnant. You're growing a person. Don't beat yourself up about it. Just be like, well, okay, it's just me being all hormonal. Then don't beat yourself up. You're going to have more hormonal weird thoughts than anyone. So just be like, oh, that, that shit again. Okay, well, I'm just being hormonal. And just brush it off when you get the negative thoughts as a hormonal thought. And don't worry about it, darling. Use the baby as an excuse. Snow in May. I know, Leah, well, I'm in Australia, but it must be snowing down south. I sincerely doubt it would be snowing down south. It's never snowed down south ever in the history of time. So that would be weird. But it is freaking cold here. And I've got this weird vaulted ceiling. It's fucking freezing in this house. Uh, lots. Oh, hang on. 
I responded and he didn't, but he will. Movement. Oh, my God, yes. Yes, darling. Visible movement. He's obviously been thinking about you this whole time. Now you're just seeing it. Lovely, darling. He showed up at my house. What happened, k 113? Tell us. Hang on. I manifested my ex back and you 100% helped me. Oh, wonderful, darling. Yay. What did you do? Tell us. That's wonderful. My self-concept is so high today. People called me ugly, but I didn't even care. Oh, who called you ugly? Fuck them. Fuck those bitches. You look like you're freezing. I am freezing. I got my SP back and promptly lost him with expecting his time. What do you mean with expecting his time? What do you mean? So, darling, if you're expecting to lose him, then you fucking will. If you get them back, guys, and you lose them again, you've got to work on your self-concept. It's got nothing to do with them. That's why I keep saying to you, so many people go to other manifestation groups, I got my SP, yay! And you don't see the two-month update when they're like, oh, I didn't fucking work on my self-concept, and they fucking left again. Okay? Work on that self-concept, guys. If they've come back, if you've got movement, do not drop that wonderful self-concept that brought them back in the first place. You've got to keep going. Okay? Lots, I sent you my two-week update. Oh, I saw it, darling. Yes! And you got contact with your SP? Love it, darling. I'm getting back to you. Been having brunch. Bunch of birds at my way. Exes, crushes, etc. Oh, have you, darling? I'm trying to work through all my abandonment issues. I know I create my own reality, but I have doubts. Doubts about what? You created it. You have doubts about what? Doubts that you can create better shit? Well, darling, you created the shit you've got. Ta-da! You did that. You're a fucking master manifester. What do you got doubts about? Thanks for the rose, darling. You either created that shit with your abandonment issues or you didn't. Which is it? Ta-da! You're a genius. I've been repeating self-concept like crazy. Good. Keep going. No, I don't go live with people. I'm sorry. Why do people keep wanting to go live with me? No. Oh, my God, love your wig. Where'd you buy it? Oh, it's just called natural, darling. But if you're trying to be insulting, you can fuck off. Um, if I affirm we've always been together to reconcile, can I make him better than last time too? Yes, guys, you've got to see the new version of them. Only see the guy or girl you want them to be and get rid of that old version. You created it with your shitty thinking. It's your Frankenstein's monster. Forget about that version and only see the new one. I intend the absolute best for you, love. Oh, thanks, darling. I am beep joined. Loz, I got a bartender. I just met to propose to me with my ring to test my power. Oh, darling, love it. Love it. What should I be affirming with someone I never met in person but have spoken a few times to say they can't stop thinking about me since they met me, I'm on their mind, they want to be with me, bloody, bloody, blah. Go in steps if you want, darling. Thank you, babe. Oh, you're welcome. Do you think wearing wedding ring and calling him your spouse already will cause resistance? Don't do it in public like a fucking nut. Just do it in private in your house. Guys, you don't even have to wear a ring. It's an imaginary ring. Neville says, put an imaginary ring on that finger and wear it proudly, belonging to the person who gave it to you. But you don't have to actually physically wear one because then if you do accidentally out in public, people are like, are you married? Oh, what? You're wearing a nut like a... Oh, you're a nut. Oh, God, what are you doing? Oh, but he's an asshole. Didn't he cheat on you? Blah, blah, blah. And you get all the doubts. Okay, but definitely imagine you're married. And yes, wear it around your house, but not out in public, guys. So you get everyone's doubts coming out. Oh, thanks for the flowers, darling. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, Angelo, Angel of 97. Been doing affirmations with your help for the past month, and my SP and I have finally talked again. Yay, darling! <laughs> Woohoo! Second, third success story of the live. Wonderful. Can you make more videos on self concept? Yes, I will, guys. I will. I really really good one hardly anyone's watched because the day i released it tiktok had some weird algorithm fuck up and like it's got 400 views or something it's like a black and white one self-concept to get your ex back it's probably my best one about self-concept for a minute everything compiled in a minute no one's fucking watched it also every single thing i'm uploading at the moment is delayed so you can my mouth's moving and the sound's not coming out at the right time and i've emptied my ipad and what the fuck's going on so i had to delete my video from yesterday and re-upload it again and then the same thing happened today so if I delete the videos, guys, you'll know why, even though I don't want to delete them, but something's going on with the algorithm. No, darling, i got to go live with people. I'm sorry. Okay. I wear my rings at home. Yes, not out in public, darling, like a nut. What if SP is wanting a commitment with me? He was calling and texting, but then stopped. 
Darling, if they're calling and texting and then stopping, it's because of your hot and cold thinking. He loves me. Oh, no, he doesn't even like me. I don't even know. I'm not good enough for him. Maybe he doesn't like me as much as I like him. Oh, he's texting me. Yay. Oh, oh maybe he's going to leave me on delivered. Oh, fuck, he has. Who's that girl he's looking at on Instagram? It's hot, cold thinking of yours produces hot, cold behavior in them. Mercury retrograde or something. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. It's affecting my iPad. What got you into manifesting? Fucking up my life, darling. Royally. <laughs> Royally. How is my work life looking next year? Maddie, where the fuck do I know, Maddie? You tell yourself. I'm not a fucking psychic. I talk about manifesting. Why don't you tell yourself your work life's going to be fucking amazing and then it will be? I'm struggling with creating a reality with him here in Australia. Travel restrictions, etc. Fuck the travel restrictions. Guys, so many of you would like think, oh, God, because of COVID, blah, blah, blah. COVID won't last forever. It'll be a blip and then it'll be like, bing, and they'll be back. Don't worry about it. Start saying, absence makes a heart grow fonder. When we're apart, he can't stop thinking about me. He masturbates furious, furiously about me every night. He wishes I was there. Stop seeing it as the obstacle. The obstacle will grow. Just found out I'm pregnant and I don't know what to do. Oh, are you with your SP, not with your SP? Okay, if you're not with the SP, darling, and you want to be, okay, if that's the problem, then affirm you're together. Imagine you on the, at the birth of your beautiful baby, him holding the baby, etc. If it's that you don't want your baby, well, that's a whole different thing. Imagine the outcome that you do want, darling, in your mind. Skip to my walk to watch this live. Or you could affirm you're not pregnant if you don't want to be. Imagine it was a mistake. <laughs> you could do that if that's the problem. Um, my SP called and basically said, if we're going to get back together, we have to get married. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> my what? Your affirmations. What? Where's the rest of it? It wouldn't let me pay what should I be assuming to get unblocked? What do you mean? It wouldn't let me pay? Oh, it wouldn't let you pay PayPal? Wouldn't let you pay? Well, you have to let me know, darling, because I had to cancel your appointment. You have to use PayPal, guys. Australia doesn't have Venmo, Cash App. We have none of those apps. Okay, the only way to pay me is PayPal. And you've either got to do it with a PayPal account or your credit card or debit card inside the PayPal. It's really the only way, unless you get my bank details. But then you're going to have to do it a week at least before your appointment because it will take ages to transfer to my bank. Okay. What do you think of Sammy Ingram? She's fantastic. Love you always. Oh, thanks, Ruby. This is exactly what I've been doing. There's always movement behind the scenes. Yes, guys. You are the master manifester. Oh, thank you, darling. So are you guys. You're all master manifesting your life so far. You do realize this. We are supposed to sit and close our eyes and affirm for hours throughout the day? No, fuck no. You don't need to close your eyes to affirm. It's thinking. You're, just, you're confusing it with meditating. Guys, affirming is new thinking. I have always been loved and wanted. I am loved and wanted. Everyone loves me. It's thinking. I don't have to meditate to do that, do I? Are there any manifestors you don't like? Uh, most of the people on this app, guys. Most of the fucking idiots teaching law of attraction on here. And some of the ones teaching law of assumption and thinking they're teaching law of assumption and teaching the power of the mind and they're not at all and they're confusing it with law of attraction and saying they're teaching law of assumption and they're fucking not. Love your videos on time. You never know exactly when. Just trust, faith, know, receive. Yes, darling. What's the worst mistake you've ever made in manifesting? God, how much time you got, darling? <laughs> letting the old story creep in, letting my old shitty thoughts from childhood creep in, sabotaging everything with my old shitty thoughts from childhood. My old self-concept fucks things up royally most of the time with my old story about me. That's the thing you need to fight against, guys. That's why I keep saying self concept so important. You can affirm they love you all you like, but if your old self-concept kicks in of I'm not lovable, I'm not good enough, who would want me, you'll fuck it up. You need to work on your self-concept every fucking time. Facts, yes. Got to go. Have a great rest of your night. Much love and peace. Oh, thanks. Um... um, um, um. What do I do if I get negative thoughts come through my head about SP? Just affirm against it. No, no. He loves me and only me. He wants me and only me. I am irreplaceable. I'm too important to lose. That fucker loses me. He loses. Or the worst make, mistake people make. The worst mistake people make, guys, is getting their SPs back, using what they've learned from me, and then not continuing their self-concept and then losing them again. That's the worst mistake. Getting too cocky, thinking, oh, I don't need to do this anymore. And then your old negative thoughts creep in. Then you react. Then you're triggered. You're fucked. Can you tell me what degree... What, what was that? Can you tell me what degree to change to, please? I'm hurting so bad. Ah, oh, fucking no idea what you're talking about. What degree to change to? Have you listened to some LOA about degrees and vibrations and numbers and shit? What are you talking about? Ask me an actual question that makes sense. 
I don't know what you mean. Darling, all you need to do is work on your self-concept. I don't know what you're hurting about. It's, if it's an SP, work on your shitty self-concept that caused the situation. Go and assess what you were thinking during the relationship, what fearful thoughts you were having. Firm against that crap. Darling, and imagine you're together in your mind. Um, 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 Loz, can you scream at me that my SP is coming back? I just need a pep talk. Guys, they're not coming back. They're here already. This is the thing you need to get your head around. You've got to step into the reality that we are together now. That's why you guys are looking out here. When are they coming back? Well, aren't they lying in your bed in your bedroom with you in your imagination here? I know that sounds nuts, guys, but that's the level you have to get to. They're here now. I'm stepping into the state of married now, girlfriend now, together now. Mm -hmm. It's too early in the morning for me to shout. I've got two other calls. I can't shout at everyone. What do you think of I release manifestations like I release doubt? Yeah, you can say that. Go ahead if it helps you. I didn't get the PayPal link. I will send it to you, darling. I'm, I will, you'll get it in your email. A lot of you are putting your wrong emails in and I'm sending you an email with the PayPal link and it's going to a wrong email because you didn't ever get the confirmation email because you entered your email wrong. Guys, you should get an email from me today with the PayPal link. If you haven't, the PayPal link is in the Facebook group. I'll put it in the pinned comment so you can all pay and know where to pay, okay? I've just got to convert my PayPal at the moment. I'm having a bit of trouble with PayPal to a business account. That's why I can't link it up yet. Um, when you pay straight away, I've got to do that in the next couple of days. Hopefully it will happen in the next couple of days. And then when you book, you can pay straight away. Sorry, guys. Every time I affirm for SP, I practically laugh because, of course, he feels that way about me. Yes, darling. I love it. Of course he does. Of course is a really good phrase to use with your self-concept. Of course he loves me. Of course. Who wouldn't want me? I'm so fucking lovable. Of course I am. Have you seen me? Of course. <laughs> use of course. It's great. 130 people here. Hi. What do you do when those thoughts start coming? You are firm against that shit, Lucy. I am lovable. I am wanted. Who wouldn't want me? No, but he said, fuck off. I don't care what he said. I'm the this and I'm the that and I'm the fucking queen. Got it. Guys, if you don't follow me, I go live twice daily. And if you haven't gone to the Facebook group yet, I save all these lives in there. The link is in my bio. And at the moment, if you invite your friends to the Facebook group and they join, you'll go in the draw for free coaching when I get to 2,000 people. And we're at 1.8K at the moment. Um, 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 um. What is this? SP is so obsessed with me. They worship the ground I walk on. Yes. I joined your Facebook group. I can't wait to binge all the videos. Yay. Guys, a lot of people can't find the videos. You've got to remember, it's really, really hard to categorize things in groups. They're either in the topics under TikTok Lives or Facebook Lives because I go live on Facebook Fridays, okay? Um, or it's in the videos or media tab. All the um, videos are there. Lots of people are like trying to scroll down the page to find them. There's lots of comments and success stories on the page. You've actually got to go to the tab saying topics and you'll find TikTok Lives or the media file the media heading okay everyone wants me yes i love that one should i keep manifesting a man that is hot and cold with me darling that's your fucking fault fortress zero 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 they're hot and cold with you because you're hot and cold thinking it's got nothing to do with them everyone's reflecting your thinking darling what are you fucking thinking he likes me he doesn't like me he wants me oh no he's not texting me i bet you he's looking at other girls and 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 guys hot and cold behavior is because of you not them the old story keeps creeping back in i'm trying so hard to kick it out well fucking do that guys you either want this or you don't how bad do you want this this was the Love Olympics and you were training for four years for the Love Olympics. This was the proper Olympics. Would you stop training? Because, oh, I had some negative thoughts about this training and I'm never going to make the Olympics team, so I'm just going to give up. Olympians don't fucking give up. You're in the Love Olympics, guys. Thanks for the rose, darling. Affirming for more money. Today I found $5. I'll take $5 today. It's trickling in. Stop saying trickling. Start saying it's flooding in, darling. <laughs> it's flooding. No trickling. Tomorrow, 50 I'm so glad you're like, oh, good. Can you manifest your SP while you're still in contact with them? Absolutely, guys. Every time you're talking to them, just imagine, oh, when he puts down the phone, he can't stop thinking about me. He's masturbating furiously every time he puts the phone down. Could hot and cold behavior also have to do with your self-concept? It is your self-concept. I'm not loved. I'm not wanted. No one wants me. Oh, no, he does want me. He loves me. But, oh, no, but there's that time that happened with that guy and he told me this and, oh, no one loves me. My relationships never work out. Oh, no, relationships never work out for me. Guys always cheat on me that my self-concept is so high yes ellie good for you darling i told my manager earlier i was amazed and my sp loves me what i told my manager earlier i was amazing and my sp loves me and after i thought i saw him with someone else what i told my manager earlier i was amazing and my sp loves me after i thought i saw him with someone else you thought you saw him with someone else what do you mean you thought you saw your sp like in the street or something what do you mean 
What are your thoughts on psychic readings or card readers? They're just reading your mind, darling, just like everyone else is. They're reflecting your thoughts. Um, 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 but it wasn't him, which was good, and I told my manager, oh, okay, Sarah. <laughs> I was doing so good for weeks. For the last 24 hours, seems like everything is out of control with SP 4D. Well, darling, look, sometimes you have a bad day. Sometimes things go to shit. Just you've got to affirm against that crap. Sometimes the 3D will punch you in the guts, okay? How bad do you want this? Do you want to let that throw you or do you want to keep going? Affirmations to get the third party out of here. Stop focusing on the dumb bitch. Guys, the more you focus on the obstacle, the more the obstacle will grow. You're literally watering the tree every time you mention her, talk about her, think about it. Yes, Loz, I love your perspective. I'm so excited with my call with you tomorrow. Oh, yay, darling! Loz, does the purge only happen in dreams, thoughts? Can it happen in 3D? Purge can happen in 3D, guys. It's literally your old thoughts purging out. All your old shit still coming about, okay? Hey, Loz, I'm back from meeting with SP. Ah! A bit unsatisfied, but I keep persisting. Don't worry, darling. If you got there and it wasn't what you were expecting, just affirm, 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 and they will change slowly, slowly, catching monkey. Don't be thrown off. Guys, sometimes the 3D doesn't show up exactly. It shows up with your old thoughts. Don't worry about it. What? Yay, my SP finally submitted. Please check for his visa. Oh, about fucking time. Yay, darling. Oh, what is this we say about dreams? It's purge. No, darling, look. Dreams, dreams. I don't really put much weight into dreams. A purge is like when people say, I'm getting my manifestation, but a whole lot of shit keeps showing up. It's like your old thoughts playing out. You've still got to wait for the movie to finish before you watch the new movie. That's what people call the purge. It doesn't have to happen to everyone. Sometimes it happens to some people, if you want to call it that. Hi, Laws. Oh, hi, Astro World. Oh, Astro World. Should I schedule another call or work on self-concept more? What are you saying, Anne? What's happening? I didn't see the rest. I've been filming. It's so hard. Well, stop fucking saying it's hard, darling. It fucking will be. It'll be hard for you. Hello, beautiful soul. Oh, hi, spiritual Casey. Have you read Outwitting the Devil? Yes, I did. I lent it to someone years ago and I fucking never got it back. I love that book. It was banned for many years. It's a great, great book about how fear runs the fucking world by Napoleon Hill. Outwitting the Devil. It's excellent. So glad to see you live. I desperately need to be here today. Thank you. Stop saying desperate. After my SP told me he had a dream about me, he texted me hours later. He texted what I was thinking about me. Oh, wonderful, darling. I want to ask you a question, but don't understand your accent. Well, then fucking go away. <laughs> darling, I speak English. I speak English well. I learned it from a book. No, darling, if you can't understand me, well, I'm sorry, but this is how I talk. I don't really know what you want me to do about that. I don't know what language you speak. I probably don't speak it. Uh, I'm going to book a session. Yay, darling. Yes, it's so true. I realised on my evening walk, persistence removes resistance. Yes, darling. Hang on, guys. Sorry, I'll blow my nose. And P make up a more. What are you saying about needing a second call? I can't find your other comment. Is this a cult? No, darling. We're just talking about manifesting. Oh, King Energy Owen. Yes. Depressed gummy bear. I love you. Oh, thanks, darling. Just ordered two books. God Art Reader and One Truth Kimberley's Recommendations. Any good? I've never fucking heard of that thing. Um, yeah, I saw that video by Kim today. Never heard of that book in my whole fucking life. It'll just be some bitch who's like quantifying everyone else, like just basically getting Neville Goddard and, you know, Florence Scovel Shin putting in it a book as a new age book now. Just like if I wrote a book now, I'd be putting in learnings from someone else. So I just go to the source, guys. I go to Florence Scovel Shin and Neville. I don't read somebody else's crap. But look, if, if it's good, go and read it. I've never heard of it. I heard her mention that today. I was like, eh. maybe she's spelling it out easier. She's like explaining Neville easier, kind of like I would if I wrote something. So go find it. I never heard of it. Never heard of it. Um, Loz, I haven't contacted him in a month. Should I stay in no contact? I'm working on self-concept constantly. Yes, guys, work on your self-concept. Only reach out to them, guys, with absolute confidence, okay? Girl, you've helped me so much. Oh, wonderful, darling. Oh, yay. Sorry, guys, my nose is running because it's bloody freezing here. I was like, I'm in the Arctic. <laughs> this house is all open. There's no, like, way for me to close the, and keep the heat in. It's like I didn't anticipate this when I moved in here, that this is an expansive, huge room. I'm like, freezing to dead. Um, I'm going to go soon, guys. I've got another two calls. Oh, I've got ten more minutes. Affirmations for SP to be sure about your relationship. Well, you need to work on your shitty self-concept, darling, to make you feel like he wouldn't be sure in the first place. You have to think, I am so lovable. Who wouldn't love me? Everyone wants me. I'm the chosen one. 
It's not about him being sure, darling. It's about you not being sure about your fucking self. And then he's reflecting that. It's got nothing to do with them, guys. What part of this aren't you getting? It's nothing to do with them. If they're turning up unsure, it's because you feel like they're unsure. Oh, he's not sure about me. I don't think he loves me because you feel unlovable, unwanted, unchosen. Start working on that crap and then he'll be fucking sure because you're so sure about you. I just found you then. I love your videos. I've watched. Is there a service you sell to help? <laughs> yes, one-to-one, -one, darling. There's a calendar link, a calendar link in my bio. Just click on it. The next two weeks are fully booked, but the week after I have spaces free. Your lives are not long enough. Oh, <laughs> darling. Thank you. I don't have my mum today. SP's mum texted me and asked if I wanted to come pick up some things I left there. What do I do? Darling, do then if you want to. Darling, don't worry about what you do in the 3D. It's what matters in your mind is what matters, okay? You can go pick up your stuff and be affirming. I take my stuff away, but he wishes it was still here. He loves me and only me. When he sees my stuff's gone, he's heartbroken. Mm -hmm. You're always manifesting. Confidence will allow you to direct manifestations for your benefit. Yes, darling. Tips to revive from negative thoughts. Darling, stop allowing the negative thoughts take over your mind and think it's going to ruin everything. It won't. Guys, you've got to stop thinking any negative thought's going to fuck this up. It won't, okay? Don't worry about new, new um, negative thoughts, okay? Just try and affirm against them when they jump in. Will I be able to grow my new plants? How do I know? I'm not fucking psychic, spiritual Casey. Why don't you just water them? <laughs> don't overwater them, though. I have lots of plants. See, my Monstera. Although you can't fucking kill those things. Just say, my plants are luscious and they're, so th they're thriving with health. Say that. Can I use affirmation to stop someone being in the way of him coming back. He won't be in the way of him coming back, Sarah. If anything, he'll fucking help it. You've got to stop thinking that this guy is going to fuck it up. In fact, it will help. It'll build your self-concept, make him jealous, send out the energy of I am wanted, use the guy up. Trust me, it fucking works. My SP didn't give two shits that I was sleeping with someone else. I remember he asked me one day, are you sleeping together? And I told him, he was like, oh. And then he kept asking about it. I was like, stop asking. This is gross, this conversation. Right? Being with someone else helps. Having someone else liking you helps. Trust me, Sarah. It's not going to get in the way at all. In fact, in fact, it will help you. Okay? Lap up that attention. Once you affirm... Oh, hang on. Once you affirm that your negative thoughts never manifest, they will melt away. Yes, you can say, my negative thoughts never manifest. I only manifest positive thoughts. I affirm that if he sees me on a dating app, that he cannot stand to have anyone else let anyone else have me. Yes, that's a good one. Excellent. Can daydreaming different scenes... Uh, what? Can daydreaming different scenes still impress subconsciously? You have to loop one small visual. No, it's not daydreaming, guys. Daydreaming is like longingly thinking of something. Ah, la, la, la. You need to kind of be definite in your scene. Like, I am in the scene. I'm seeing it from my eyeballs. This is what's happening. And you can have lots of different ones, but try and loop a few if you can because the visualizing, the repetitiveness sinks it in. But guys, you don't have to repeat them all the time, but daydreaming is different than visualizing. Visualizing is first-person perspective, having a definite aim in the scene of something you want to happen. Daydreaming is longingly thinking about something. It's different. Okay, what? You're going to ask this dude out? Oh, wonderful, Hallie. Do you believe that seeing signs is me manifesting those signs? Someone told me that. Yes, darling, I have a lot of videos on this. Stop manifesting signs. Guys, if you see them whilst you're manifesting, fine. But I wouldn't look for signs, okay? There's a difference. I don't want you to manifest a sign, but if you see a sign while you're manifesting something, give it good meaning, wonderful. My SP is also in another country. I also affirm that we are connected no matter what. Yes, darling, distance does not matter. Circumstances don't matter. Oh, my God, I should do that with my bird. Yes, darling, use the birds. Use them up. Mm-hmm. You are so entertaining. Oh, thanks, darling. When is a good time to contact SP or should I wait till they contact me? Why do you need to contact them? I ask you. Do you feel they won't contact you? Do you not trust that they'll contact you? You need to ask me. The question is, why are you asking? I've tried, so we will see. You tried what, darling? Tried what? Tried affirming? I need to sleep with someone. Oh, Hallie, No. You don't need to do anything. What, you're going to do that to get your SP's attention? That's not what I'm talking about, Hallie. Listen to what I said. It's building up your self-concept. You don't go sleeping with a hundred guys to get his attention. In fact, that will put him off and think you're the world's biggest slut. Please don't do that. I'm working hard to stay away from his social media. It's a horrible habit. 
I'm working hard to stay away from your social media. It's a horrible habit. Well, fucking stop looking at it, guys. Have some self-control, some of you. That's such a good way to put it. Of course he will contact you. Yes, of course. My SP is my neighbour. Why are you doing a, a sad face? Uh -huh. Why is that bad? You get to see them every day. You get to have interaction with them. Yay. Think of that as a good thing. Give a good meaning. Lots of people haven't seen their SP in like three years. You get to see them every fucking day outside the house. Hooray. So what do you do if someone blocks you? Imagine them unblocking you. Imagine them picking up the phone, unblocking you. Imagine talking to them all the time. If you talk to them all the time, they're constantly calling and texting you. They're constantly calling and texting me. They're blowing up my phone. Well, they can't have blocked you, can they? Affirm that. Right, I've got to go soon, guys, because I've got two calls. Oh, seven more minutes. Focus on self-concept for a week and a half, and my SP called me, but I was asleep. He called me again and begged. Oh, darling, wonderful, and begged. Woo wonderful, darling, love it. What if I manifest my SP, but my SP is manifesting someone else? Guys, what part of this aren't you getting? You're in your own reality. Everyone reflects your thinking in your reality. That's all they can do. I don't give a shit what people are doing over in their reality. There are a gazillion people manifesting certain celebrities. Are they all getting them? No. You win in your reality. The end. Stop asking these silly questions. I know it seems logical that someone else could get them, but they're, they're manifesting over in their reality and you're on yours getting what you want. Okay? Someone asked that today on the fucking Facebook group and there were all these people asking. I've answered this question a gazillion times. Maybe you guys are new, but I've answered this question so many times. You're in your own reality. We're all in quantum realities, guys. And in their own reality, everyone manifests what they're manifesting. The end. If he hasn't contacted you yet, he's thinking about how to ease back into your graces. You are the queen. Oh, yes, I love that. Ease back into your graces. I love it. Thank you so much. I was just curious, but thank you for confirming. Oh, that's right. I didn't mean to yell at you. I just saw a big conversation about it in the Facebook group today. And I thought, guys, I've explained this 5,000 times. And people were adding me. I was like, stop adding me on a thing. I've answered a gazillion times. Guys, if you're not in the Facebook group, there's a Q&A forum that I post every Monday. And you can go in there and ask questions. All the success stories are on the main page. And all these videos are saved in there, okay? And there's a competition at the moment for free coaching. So is everyone... So is everyone is with the same celebrity in their own respective realities? That's, I don't, that I don't understand. That I don't know. How come we're all seeing the same reality... But we're in our own reality. That's the bit I'd need to delve down the quantum physics. I just know I'm in my own reality. I don't exactly know how it works. We're all seeing the same thing, though. That I don't understand. I don't know. I'm not a quantum physicist. I'd have to go down the further rabbit hole of that one. Uh, guys, it's called Subconscious Laws. Same name as my page. Subconscious Space Laws. Or click the link in my bio. I want my SP to be my boyfriend. We'll start saying he is your boyfriend, darling. He wants me and only me. He loves being my boyfriend. He loves spending time with me. I'm his favourite person. Start saying that, darling. I'm confident. What happened? I'm just impatient. Yep, don't worry about being impatient, darling. We all are. Just step into the state of I have it already and you won't feel so impatient. Um, 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 um. A friend texted me out of the blue today. Hey, queen. And I've been manifesting that I'm a queen. Oh, I love it, darling. I found out today that my SP made out with someone else. Well, forget that information. It's just hearsay. Don't fucking worry about it. It's your fears manifest. Guys, if you think, oh, they're going to find someone else, they're going to kiss someone else, they fucking will. Okay, forget that information. Pretend you never heard it. Revise it. Haha, -ha, okay, laugh my ass off because in my reality, SP's friend won't be able to stop him coming back, right? Yes, because in my reality, SP friend won't be able to stop him coming back. Yes, guys, they can't stop them coming back. You've got to understand I was sleeping with someone else in a full relationship with someone else. My old SP, who had treated me like crap, who had told me it wasn't going to work, came back and then for seven fucking months pursued me, regardless of the fact that I was madly in love with someone else. He didn't care. He made a complete dick of himself. Okay? Trust me. And before that, he couldn't have given two shits about me. I highly recommend the Facebook group. Oh, yay, Brittany. Yes, it's a very supportive community in there, guys. B manifesting oldest daughter to get back with great guy and she drove to see him last night. Oh, Will, yay! How's things going, Will, there? Had a bad fight with SP. It was my fault and now I'm blocked. Darling, stop saying it's your fault. Stop beating yourself up. Sorry, guys, my nose is running because it's like the Arctic in here. Um, darling, go and revise it. Pretend that never happened. Affirm in your mind that he's forgiven you. All is forgiven. All is forgotten. And just affirm and affirm and affirm for his love for you, darling. Anyone want to be manifestation buddies? Yes, guys. Find manifestation buddies in the Facebook group with each other. I feel the union. I feel it. Good, darling. Try that affirmation. What affirmation? I didn't say it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What if he's married to someone else? 
Darling, in your reality, you can get whatever the fuck you want regardless of circumstances, okay? I think of it like maybe we don't all see the same thing. Superman might be real, but in someone else's reality, yeah, maybe we don't still see the same thing. I don't know. I don't understand it. I need to go down the realm of quantum physics a bit more because I don't really understand it. I don't really. What do you think about subliminals? I can't hear them. I don't know what they're saying. Don't recommend I love him, but he doesn't. How can he love me? I want marriage. Darling, if you think he doesn't love you, he won't. It's as simple as that. If you think, look, when I was with my SP and we broke up, it's because I didn't think he loved me. And yet my other SP, the old one, I thought he loved me. So he did. I started having feelings like this guy wasn't over his ex-wife and therefore we broke up. It was my feelings about he doesn't love me that caused that. But this guy, I assumed he loved me and he didn't stop loving me. They will turn up based on your assumptions. If you assume they don't love you, they won't love you. The end. I just did a video on this. Stop assuming they don't want you. Stop assuming they don't love you because then they fucking won't. They're simply reflecting your thinking. You've got to think they love me and only me. They love me. Are you getting this, guys? If you assume bad things, that's what they will think. He doesn't want me. He doesn't spend time with me. He doesn't want to be around me. He's looking at other girls. He doesn't love me then eventually they'll stop loving you. Stop thinking that crap. Good always movement, right? Oh, excellent, Will. Yes, darling. I manifested a text and got it. Oh, wonderful, darling. Yes, Noraine, 100%. Should I tell my SP that I love him? Nancy, what the fuck? Please, for the love of fucking God, go and watch all the videos in the Facebook group. What you do in the 3D out loud doesn't make any fucking difference. You can tell him you love him all you like, but you're doing it out of desperation. I love you. And then he's like, well, fuck, bitch, I don't love you. Go away. Do you think he loves you? If you don't think he loves you, saying I love you to him won't make any fucking difference if it's coming from needy and desperation and feeling like you need to do something in the 3D to make him love you. Fuck no. Go and watch all the lives. You're fucking lost as. Right, guys, I've already got to go because I've got two calls. If you'd like a call with me, the next two weeks are booked. But the week after, I think June is free. You can just press the link in my bio, okay, and join the Facebook group. All these lives are saved in there, guys. I go live twice daily. If you don't follow me, I go live around my calls, okay? So normally around 9 p.m. EST, but sometimes later, okay? And then morning time UK. See, my alarm's telling me to go. Um... Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Okay, that helped a lot. Good. Go and watch all the lives in the Facebook group. Nancy, go and watch number 25 in the Facebook group, number, live number 25 and number 41, and work on your shitty self-concept that's making you feel like you have to go and tell him that you love him. Please. God damn it. You might shout at me, but with this lunar eclipse, will it hurt you speaking in manifestations? That's my reaction to that comment. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I'm going to go. See you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.